A popular school principal is in trouble for what he has been doing to students. A high school principal used hypnosis on his students. Three of them ended up dead within weeks. I didn't think it was weird at the time because that's our principal. Marcus Freeman, Wesley McKinley, and Brittany Palumbo were only 16 years old. The common factor in their deaths was George Kenny, their high school principal. And it wasn't just them. Kenny was known to conduct hypnosis sessions on students and staff members despite being unlicensed. Realized that this morning you forgot to get dressed and you're standing in your underwear at inspection. He was even ordered to stop by the school board. Kenny didn't stop. He believed that hypnosis could be used to help students overcome different issues. He told me there's this thing called hypnosis that he practices. It has the potential to help me with what I'm going through, anxiety, depression, uh, tests. It's nothing life-threatening. You're going to be all right. You're in a lot of discomfort right now, but I want you to listen to my voice and we're going to draw a picture. But his amateurish approach had devastating consequences. His sessions took place in various settings, including his office, where he would induce a trance-like state by sitting face-to-face -face with the students. All right, hands on your knees. Okay, close your eyes, take a breath, breathe in. Students who had been hypnotized by Kenny testify to their bizarre experiences, including being lost and seeing Chinese lettering. Some even claimed that they had been hypnotized multiple times. I felt comfortable doing that because his mother was there. I would not have let him put his head on my leg if there weren't somebody else in the room. Marcus Freeman, a football player at the school, had sought Kenny's help to enhance his focus during games. He found the hypnosis sessions beneficial and even learned self-hypnosis from Kenny. A tragedy struck on March 15th, 2011. After a painful dental visit, Marcus began to exhibit signs of being in a hypnotic state. While driving home with his girlfriend, she noticed a strange look on his face. He lost control of the car and crashed it, suffering fatal injuries. His girlfriend survived. Marcus was an outstanding athlete, a good student, uh, just a great kid. In the weeks following Freeman's death, Wesley McKinley and Brittany Palumbo, two of his classmates, took their own lives. Wesley, a talented guitar player, was in the process of applying to the Juilliard School of Music. He was just so funny and he was so outgoing. And he was the kid that everyone thought was so cute. He had agreed to be hypnotized because he was worried about an upcoming audition and wanted to improve his performance. But on April 8th, a day after his last session, McKinley committed. Brittany was a top student who excelled in math, but she suffered from test anxiety. Kenny hypnotized her to help calm her nerves. She was always very sweet, compassionate, caring. Like they were just like the sweet girls, you know? But even after the hypnosis, her scores didn't get better, which made her feel even more upset. Although Kenny had been warned by a school official not to practice hypnosis without parental consent, he continued to do so until the series of tragic deaths took place. It was like the perfect headline. Principal hypnotizing. All these people died. And then it blew up. I know a lot of people wanted to blame Dr. Kenny, but I also know a lot of people had his back on it. There was a lot of people that didn't blame him. The parents of the dead teenagers filed a lawsuit against the school. Kenny faced legal consequences and served probation on a misdemeanor charge for practicing hypnosis without a license. What functional training do you claim that you had to allow you to determine who was appropriate for hypnosis? Well, as far as functional is concerned, I've worked with teenagers for over 30 years. Okay, you think that qualifies you? Uh, yeah. Throughout the trial, the school board aimed to argue that there was no direct link between the hypnotism and the deaths. They are suing for negligence, saying that the Sarasota County School Board failed to supervise Principal Kenny. They even hired an expert witness to challenge the family's claims. The families of the deceased students sought closure through legal action and reached a $600,000 settlement with the school district. They should have stopped it. Kenny retired with a full pension, but was under pressure to give up his teaching license. He was banned from reapplying for another.